video. So today we got something pretty uh, exciting that I've been trying to stay quiet about, but been having a lot of difficulties doing so. Uh, gonna just taking the Armax and the trailer down to uh, Courtney, another town right near Campbell River here, down to a dealership. Um, you know, some spicy things are happening, so we're gonna go down there and see what we can uh, what we can make happen, but. Uh, it's something new and exciting for me at least uh, you guys are gonna see here pretty quick but uh, stay tuned as uh, I kind of got a little bit of a surprise for everybody in the channel uh, a couple guys that we ride with I haven't told yet uh, some guys know and whatnot but uh, we're gonna be changing them some things up here with the island mudslingers a couple new things to play with so stick around keep watching and uh, we should be at the dealership uh, anytime here soon and you guys will see what's happening well, everybody, I'm here. I'm at Courtney Motorsports. You can't really see over there. They're just in the middle of, of uh, <laughs> renovations with their new shop and whatever. But uh, so here's the news, guys. It's sad, but this is it. This is how she is right now. She's done. It's time to go. We're changing things up. We've modified it to where I like to ride it. But I just need a different change. I need to get rid of it. So the R-Max is getting traded in, and I'm changing sides to Can-Am. It's really a sad day. It took me quite a lot to really decide about this. And all of you Yamaha diehard guys out there, I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't know I could do it to myself. I really didn't know. But uh, we're going to reminisce on some good old R-Max footage. So I'm going to run that back and just tell you guys how much I love this thing. I love this R-Max. She's a beast. Out of all the side-by-sides we've had out there, uh, you know, factory transmission problem fixed. Has been a freaking beast ever since axle carnage breakage totally fine after with the new rhinos totally love it uh they've been holding up good we got some more videos that you guys would have seen by now of that but uh yeah a couple different mods that i've done near the control arms springs bigger tires exhaust cab stuff uh wiper the glass window heated seats all that kind of stuff we're definitely gonna miss it for sure so it's gonna be a sad sad day to see this thing go but today is the day so I'm going to run that footage for you guys so that you guys can see some of the fun moment, moments that we've had with this. Uh, so, hope you guys enjoy that.
Getting ready to offload her off the trailer. But I think you all want to see what I traded her in for, guys. Okay, so I'm going to pull that around so you guys can see it. All right, everybody. So here's the trade-in. Bye-bye, Yamaha. Hello, Can-Am. One thing I got to say is I'm a die-hard Yamaha guy. This was a hard decision. But, uh... I'm just kidding. I could never get rid of my Armax, everybody. Come on, you, you you all know me better than this. I gotta keep rocking the only one brand out there that nobody else is riding. Armax 1000. She ain't going anywhere. But, however, I did buy a Renegade XMR 1000 2022. Um, just seeing Brandon tear it up on his bike. Jim tear it up on his. Brand, uh, Cody tearing it up on his. I needed something that was just gonna be a quad to just rip things up. And uh, it was either this or a Grizzly. And to be honest, I really, really, really wanted a Grizzly. Um, like massively, like really bad. But the only thing is, as we all know, Grizzlies are tough as nails. Like they will take every single little piece of crap kicking you throw at it. And I hope this does too. But the reason why I went with this is because I wanted that ridiculous power. I wanted, just to be blown away with the power of this thing. And that's why I got it. I got good warranty with it. Uh, Courtney Motorsports, uh, they hooked me up big time with this unit. Uh, Javin, if you're out there watching this when this comes out, thank you so much, man. Couldn't appreciate it more. I really wish you would have been here for this. But uh, as you know, probably with all your customers, they want their bikes right away. ATVs, bikes, side-by-sides, whatever. But all right, everybody, let's take a good look over at this unit and then we're gonna talk some specs. everybody so let's talk some specs quick right off the bat we all know it's a renegade 1000 r xmr edition as you guys can tell the color scheme snorkel kit as well and the 30s that come on these uh these units here they don't measure true to size most people say they measure around that 28 inch size uh we're going to definitely confirm that coming up here soon uh but another cool thing i got to say about this unit is this unit itself has the uh visco four lock so i hate visco lock hate it because every other unit that has it out there has an issue like it's just prone to issues but this unit here actually has their visco four lock so front diff lock so right here what you do is you go ahead and just click it here and then you hold this and then it actually be i'm going to fire this thing up for you guys again so you'll see here sorry two wheel drive right here Put it in four, there's the destructor go by. Then you're gonna hear a beep. Hear that beep? We got a light locked up. We got a little lock sign, must be a Mastercraft lock or something like that, we'll see if it breaks. And then to undo it, oh, my bad, didn't mean to push it all the way. Something just like that. Now we're back to two wheel drive. So that's how you lock the front diff on this thing up. We're gonna see how well it works because I promise I'm gonna be testing the snot out of this thing. Um, another cool thing that it has is uh, it's only got the one sport key, so hopefully I don't lose that. They do offer the other key, so I might be getting that, the green key, so that's another cool feature. Uh, some of the older models, they came with both, but I'm probably going to get the other one because if I let somebody else ride this, uh, there's no way I'm letting them touch that key. Uh, another cool feature, uh, hand guards, snorkel kit. One thing they told me that this is the true snorkel kit that all the XMRs come with belts engine and diff vents you can kind of see uh maybe you can't see but the, the diff vents come right up here air box is right under here fuel cap whatnot engine oil everything's super exposed on these units which is nice that's one thing that i hated about the uh outlanders is everything's just 
tied away and hard to get to. It's a pain in the butt. So this unit here, most things are very accessible. It's got the nice Fox. I believe these are the 1.5 QS3s, if I'm correct. I, I kind of forget, I'll double check that. Uh, so I got them set to, to very soft because this thing rides pretty rough already. Uh, it's got the Can-Am 3500 HD winch. Never used one of these, not too sure, but I wanted a unit with a winch. Uh, one really sad thing about this bike is uh, you'll notice that it came with the black bumpers. It's got the black shocks, black rear bumper as well. This unit was actually supposed to have uh, the color matched Can-Am red. Uh, it's like the seat cover here. It's supposed to be the bumpers were supposed to be this color. Same with the shocks, but sadly Can-Am struggling to get the uh, the right size here. Sorry, got some machinery coming by. Another uh, quite interesting thing that comes on these, like the other outline, the Renegades here, are their nice foot wells. Like you can't beat them. They're metal right off the bat with huge foot grabbers. Like these things are awesome. Aluminum skid plates all around. A nice thing that the XMR comes with as well is to drain your uh, dirty and clean side of your air box, which is freaking awesome. Uh, but I got some mods already coming for this thing that I've already ordered. Uh, I forget the brand, um, RJWC, uh, uh what is it the air box cover because the factory can m one has that like little foam gasket piece they're crap get rid of them get the rjwc same with the gas cap i want a better gas cap on it so i got that coming and then i've also got a different shifter because i thought it looked pretty cool and i wanted to get that and i wanted something that's a little bit bigger easier to grab because i plan to be doing some pretty crazy things with this we're gonna we're definitely gonna be testing it out quite quite a lot i've also got a rear rack coming for it because uh, a little bit of storage or whatnot we're always having to put some stuff up there or whatever um but yeah guys we're gonna be rocking this thing uh pretty quick here hopefully this little uh breakdown video right here is going to be uh kind of the um intro to the next video coming out with this unit here um the r max is probably going to be on every other ride with us as well uh one of the somebody is going to be driving it for me they'll be driving that while i'm driving this or vice versa uh, i'm going to do kind of like a nice little break in on this guy here um and just get it ready for this weekend because it's i'm during the week right now gonna kind of use this a little bit just get used to it and then uh we're gonna be doing a video this weekend but all right everybody thank you all for watching i hope you enjoy let's get back to the video and you guys can see this thing in action courtney motorsports is now going to be one of the youtube channel's top sponsor for our youtube channel very excited um we've been have we've been having some discussions about making this happen and uh, I can't be happier. We all came to an agreement that uh, we think it's a good idea as a lot of our crew members ride Yamaha Can-Am products. Uh, and we all know that we're rough on them and things are gonna break. So guys, I'm gonna throw down in the description, Courtney Motorsports, their website. I've also got some cool pictures of them and stuff like that, but go check them out. If you guys ever need any of your, any accessories for Can-Ams, parts or whatnot, Can-Am, Yamaha, you name it, give these guys a call talk to their service department or their sales department javin he's my sales guy thank you so much again uh give these guys a shout they'll hook you up with whatever you need hey everybody welcome back to another video so today we got a pretty awesome ride we got a good crew today a couple quads a couple side by sides uh, first off, we're going to start off with saying uh, a huge shout out to Courtney Motorsports in Courtney, uh, BC here on Vancouver Island. They're one of our sponsors for today. Also, uh, Like New Auto Care in Campbell River is also one of our sponsors. I'll put some links up in the description. We got some cool stuff to show off from them today. But to start off with our riders today, we got Kerry. Uh, it's a very special day for this guy. He's over here, that guy. He turned 169 today. 69 169 today so today's his birthday so he's gonna go hard all day today as uh, you'll see shortly he just uh, put this thing in a pretty gnarly hole and made a big mess made a bunch of noise all the critters around are scared now so uh, I don't think there's anything uh, new to this at all is there Kerry no not this time around clutch kit 32s rhinos RJWC exhaust a bunch of other goodies here and there it's pretty awesome uh, other than that, we got the Jackrabbit. Hi, Ethan. Hi. <laughs> um, he just sunk his machine in the same hole that Kerry did and made the hole much bigger. So that was our first winch of the day, and Kerry was our second. But other than that, Ethan, I don't think there's anything that's changed to this besides, I think, an Isla Mudslinger sticker. Finally. Finally got him hooked up with a nice sticker. Got to have that. We got Jimbo over here with his uh, eight, 850, 800? 
800 outlander cryptids noisy as heck one of the noisier fixed machines frame. fixed frame from our last ride you would have seen it would have been up under here he had a issue up in there or whatnot so got that all fixed we've also got tom tom's with us today he's got uh like we said in the past he's got the warrior risers on it uh he's also got a full assassin clutch kit in here as one of his rides hey okay? oh. oh, as one of his rides he blew the clutches right out of it we've so nothing else has changed that i'm aware of we got cody with his 850 uh outlander max the two up edition 32s and so on but something a little bit special that you guys would have seen at the very beginning of the video is i went to the dark side i decided to change some things up i still own my yamaha r max i will never get rid of it because that thing's a freaking tank absolutely love it but i decided to put my money where my mouth is and i went to the can-am side uh I bought a Renegade XMR 1000. Uh, so today is testing day. We are testing it out. As you guys would have seen, bone stock machine. Comes with almost everything you need to get this thing ready to go. A couple upgrades are coming. This thing sounds like it's a freaking Tesla. It's so darn quiet. So a new pipe has come in. Airbox covers come in. Gas caps come in. A couple other little goodies are coming here and there. So as you can see, She's doing good and haven't been stuck yet. I've been just tearing things up through here. So things have been awesome. Really love the machine so far. Um, it's been a while since I've been on a quad. And uh, the one thing I can say I don't miss is definitely just the throttle on your finger all the time. But otherwise, you know, it's it's awesome. It feels good to be back on a quad. Wasn't going to go with one of these, but uh, that that's where Courtney Motorsports came into play right there. So huge shout out for Courtney Motorsports uh, the, for linking me up with this thing. If you guys ever need any accessories for Can-Am, Yamaha, Honda, stuff like that, even power, even um, boat boats and stuff like that for BRP and whatnot, they are the guys to go to. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, so this rig here, took it over to Like New, Like New Auto Appearance and Graphics here. They're our sponsor for today as well. They went ahead and they put a special coating, just like ceramic coat on this, but better, longer lasting, stronger, just designed like for a heavy abuse. So they put a coating on this machine. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna be cleaning this sucker off and seeing how well it works. But guys, once we get to the end, you guys will see how great this product is. I'm pretty excited because it's already it already seems to be working great. As you can see, everything is just beading all over. This stuff is where my legs rubbing, so like it's kind of expected that's going to happen. But otherwise, it's good. So make sure you go check them out. Like new auto auto appearance and graphics. We got Brain from Tofino. Haven't rode with him much this year so far. He's just all you know. He lives in Tofino or whatever. So these are my old 30 inch cryptids. So he's rocking those, so he's gonna be doing pretty good today. He's finally got like this little cab enclosure, plastic wise here. So he's gonna stay pretty clean inside. He hopes, but we're gonna stick him in a big hole and ruin that idea. Mud flaps, all this stuff. He doesn't like the mud. Guy's a little bit on the, you know, from Tofino, so. Okay, this is something new as well. The R-Max is here. R-Max is never gonna go away. 33 Schmitty, Super ATV, exhaust, RPM exhaust, blah, 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 tuned tons and tons of stuff uh brad the camera guy he's driving the r max today so i'm only a little bit paranoid um the r max hasn't been laid on its side before so we're pretty darn sure she's gonna get laid on her side today but uh time will tell but all right everybody we're gonna continue ripping on these trails we got some new areas to explore today so we're gonna basically see where we can get and uh and that's that we're gonna see how far we get today how stuck we can get as you see i think i'm kind of dressed for um getting really wet so that's kind of the plan and this guy over here that's noah he's the passenger in the r max with brad he's going to be the camera guy today so if we get any really messed up footage it's because of him so we blame this guy right yeah, here blame me i'm new to this <laughs> <laughs> new but doing good so far all right everybody stick around stay tuned we're getting back on the trail
I didn't ask for a rainy shower today, thanks. say so. Okay, grab my wind. He's in stock. <laughs> Tom, I guess. Yeah, I'll back up Okay. Yeah. Do you know this trail, Noah? This is one of the trails. This is what we spent hours in But it was like deep. It was fun. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yep. Woo. Okay. Can we go forward anymore? His fan, here, pull this inside. Your fan does not sound happy. Yeah, let's, let's just move, move you forward and we'll take a look at it here. Thumbs up in his fan, I think. Good. Good go! 
Go back more! He can't give up. He, he's almost there. You're almost there, Carrie. Yeah, no. You're almost there. If you give her that amount of throttle back there, you're getting right through it. I tried, it don't work. You don't want to try one more? Serves his own purposes. It doesn't serve my purposes, it's just fun. I break shit. I don't want to break shit. Brad Lawson drive. Yeah, they we felt that bump and it started to rub. That's gonna be interesting. Uh, how the f? Yeah, how the f are we gonna get it out? I don't know, but Lots that's racket strap. That's f though. Lots of racket straps. Like, how the f? <laughs> <laughs> He's got. I don't think anything has a replacement. The trouble is, when it's damaged right. in the process, too. Yeah. That, that rim is fucked. Huh? Shock's probably. That shock might survive. That, doesn't that look good. Be covered by two for each of these. Yep, shot. Yeah. Yeah. I started to feel it going slow down, and that's <laughs> happened. We <laughs> finally go on that weld. <laughs> Why is it gonna happen to me for <laughs> sake? Pretty sure when we started this ride, you told him not to break anything. <laughs> but that we knew it was gonna break sternal later. Yeah. Oh, I broke off in here too. It like the whole way. I got super ATV is what you were saying. I got it on video. <laughs> you got mud on your lens, pal. It's not even that bad. Two piece controller. What? Still got it on video though. <laughs> okay, well, we need to get that shock off before that shock breaks. So let's get the shock out of there. Okay? Yeah. Look how bent up that shock is right here. It's bent there too. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are. Went over the box. Those are super heavy. Oh, F3. Oh, yeah. Good yeah. thing there's a good mechanic here. Where? I don't know. Mike, Tom. <laughs> Where are the mechanics? <laughs> I haven't found them yet. We'll stand in a circle. <laughs> like city workers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a smoke break. <laughs> I don't think any vehicle likes this trail. I've broken so many vehicles on this trail. So you're full. I haven't really broken one. much besides no. the axles. <laughs> it's not even my fault. I'm not the one that broke it, am I? <laughs> this isn't. Um... Well, it's your side. So. Oh, isn't... you're calling me fat? <laughs> no, I'm just saying it is your side. You are responsible for the you side you're the riding wheel, on. <laughs> Apparently. Okay. You gonna pull the wheel? I think right now I'll leave it on. Just for now, I want to get the shock He off, messed up. <laughs> Brad, forget to put a bolt in again. Shot the <laughs> <up. laughs> hey, Sponsored video. Fall, actually, <laughs> getting ball joint on the bottom left to let out. <laughs> I was thinking. It still got on? the f***ing thing in there, too. I didn't put a new one in The yet. wire? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, I was like, I wonder if you put a car pin in that f***ing thing. Yeah. Look, no, no car pin. Still the f***ing Be beast. careful in case that is snapped inside and go eat it. Yeah, so you nervous it lightweight and didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, uh, I'm going to say stick a bar or something inside the bar, right? Ooh. We're not straight on this channel. <laughs> oh, speak for yourself, buddy. We never did, thought you were straight. No, I just called. Yeah, Mikey, you're about as straight we're as a... We're just talking about the shock, guys. You guys are sick. You're about as straight as a rainbow, Mikey. Okay, so I'm going to send... Uh, oh, man. It's going to come apart. How much load's that under, you think? We can take most of it off. There's not a shit safe. ton when they're straightened out like that. Yeah. But it's pulling the cap. Yeah, that's... All right, everybody. So we got her kind of figured. Bottom control arm all off. Axles sort of kind of straight. Uh, yeah, it's a Rhino 2.0 freaking Super ATV junk. Uh, upper control arms strapped up. Got the joint down here kind of just sitting in place. Got a log here, notch. It was Tom's idea to do the notch there. And then uh, pull the log right up. Hopefully, in theory, that's gonna work pretty good. Maybe what we should do is almost, is this off the ground? If we notch this, cause what that's gonna grab dirt like no tomorrow right here. But say if we notched it. I'd leave it. Okay, leave it and see what happens. Something like so. So we'll see how it goes everybody. I've been having. Uh, Revco has been pretty good in sending me new ones. As far as we're aware, Super ATV is in the middle of making a new product, stronger and better. But now I've got a upper control arm in the rear done. My shock looks completely toast and uh, there might be some more issues. So stick around. We're going to get this thing back to the trail. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> onto the logging road and then back onto the trailer and then we're going to keep riding for the day. All right, everybody, stick around. I stopped recording too. <laughs> oh, 
really take that one for going on it. I seen you going straight and I just seen you turn. I was like, what the f? Yeah, I was like, holy f. Hey, Mike, you want to take that while you're f through this? Hey, we're recording now. Uh, we just had a little bit of an incident. Tom and Cody were going straight down, and Tom turned left into. I don't think that wrong. No, I think it hit your bumper. You hit the bumper, and Cody went right into the side of Tom here. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. You're okay there, Tom. Tom's good. What happened? Cody's good. I thought that was gonna Cody be and Tom had a crash. Oh. I was like, what the f And yeah, they were both going like straight down, but Tom was in front of Cody. Cody was coming up on his left and then Tom started turning in here. Oh. Cody just fifth it right into the side of him. So, yeah. Tom goes right out. Yeah, tie rods f***ing definitely oh, yeah. bent. Shit. Yep, good old Can-Am exhaust for you. Oh man, it's way in there too. God darn it. Son of a gun. Yeah, I keep trucking. Brent, that log is rough for wearing down pretty quick. Is it? All right. Kapow! Kaboom, kapow. All right, everybody, we're back on the trail. We just got back on going. Cody 850 Max is with us. Brain from Tofino, my renegade. Uh, the Jackrabbit and Carrie, but this guy, we just, it kind of died again. Well, not again, but it just died on us. It's still running, but what happened is we think it's like direct drive right now. There's no clutch engagement at all. It's just instantly engaged. So we're thinking the primary broke something inside. So basically, to save the belt from blowing or any other issues, we're just going to put it aside right now and carry on. So to the next place and hopefully no other machines go. Ho, ho, ho. 
Hey Gordy, you know those goggles that you got? They're supposed to go over your eyes, eh? What? What are you doing missing the mud holes? Get in there! Go back a little more, Cody. You're pretty darn close, pal. I can't tell. <laughs> 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 in the eye. Oh, come on. <laughs> 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 thing Crack he's being a coward I didn't say I wasn't I, I said can't. if he makes it up I'll do it <laughs> I don't know where I'm going <laughs> we got a blind man over here right in the quad Got a turbo on there, right? Turbo belt. Yeah, you're gonna need some speed. I think your long wheelbase helps right here. Yeah. And the tire going. You've got this. You got the power though, so you might be able to just hammer right out. <laughs> <laughs> Ethan!
Let the new man in that machine like it. Yeah, I like it too. Birthday boy. Woohoo! Brandon, get over there. Here it comes. Waterfall in there now. Exactly, that's my flip here. <laughs> Let's be ready on that far side. Cause that's the side it tips to really bad over there. <laughs> Keith is going over for sure. <laughs> <laughs> on her side too. Yeah. Keep going, flip it! Let off. 
He's getting a run at it. <laughs> oh God, is he? <laughs> Maybe I should move my quad. Yeah. yeah. Now hold on a sec. Keep going that way. A little damp. <laughs> You're a little damp? Oh! <laughs> they come in through the floorboard. <laughs> Two wheel drive. Two wheel drive. <laughs> Do it. That looked pretty good on the film. If Cody would have backed up a bit more, I could have just launched it in. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, are you going to keep going a bit? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Carrie, okay, your turn. Oh, we sent a jack. Jack Rabbit's going. <laughs> Come on, birthday boy, let's go! Yeah, but you will make it into something. Go over there. there. Right, go over there.
Cameraman down again. Oh, it's me. Yes, Cody made it really, really bad. Now I won't be able to go through. Oh yeah, you will. Oh, well, well, I think if Cody, speed, I if you would have had momentum, you'd be. If you would have had more of a muddy tire too. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, the stick really hurt my leg. I oh. see! <laughs> yeah, you get brushing that off, alright? I'm glad I didn't stay on that.
You launched it pretty good in there. I think I needed more juice. XMR. Just asking. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna flip! <laughs> Perfect! Not on my side! <laughs> I can't tell how deep that was. He floated. Woo! I can't tell how deep that was, Mike. You floated on it. Well, a bit late now.
<laughs> Good to go, Mike. Where's your headlights? I don't have the approach I want. Where's your headlights? Ethan went down like a sack of shit right beside you. Did it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! Watch your fingers, you just... Hey, give me a second to get out. Hey, start to pull them off. I couldn't hear it running. I thought it turned off. I was like, oh, we're good. But she was still running, I guess. No, she turned off. No. No? No. no. I turned it off. They, they like... They like running. Woo! They'll run upside down. Yeah. All right. Somehow I made it down the hill before these f***ers and they were at uh, you, you fell down. No, I just like launched because I knew it was deep, so I was like, f*** it. I got checked where you were going. You want, one of you guys want to hit the throttle? No. Here, I can jump on there. Jesus, mucky crap. Dying, alright. Good. Well, you're gonna take me in there with him, so. Yeah. Go. Hold on. I got a break. Oh. There you go. Okay. Alright. Whoa! Yeah. Come on. Come on. Ah. <laughs> Attaboy, Mikey. That was awesome. That was Hope pretty awesome. Hope you got awesome. it all on video. Sure did. <laughs> got the press record, do it again. <laughs> Shit. Ah, oh, oh, bro, <laughs> Hey, everybody. All right, so we're done our ride. Ethan, Jim, uh, Ethan's mother-in-law, uh, Braden, they took off a little bit earlier. Um, so basically, they, they just took off, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, so they left the order. It was just basically Carrie, Cody, and myself. Cody's loading his rig up right now, uh, so he's not here. We came here to Shell so that we can pressure wash these units off. And we already pressure washed ourselves off. Uh, new gear I'm trying. It's not really made for side by side and stuff like that, but I tried it and it worked pretty good. But all right, so what I need to do here is I need to show you guys this product that's on this machine. I'm going to pressure wash it off and see how awesome this thing looks after, see how, how much mud actually is stripped off this machine. All right, we're going to get the pressure washer all fired up here. Uh, this is kind of like a pretty cool pressure washer. It actually feels like it's warm water, which is shocking. It's either you can use your card or you can just pay by being used to any, so I'm just going to... Oh. Okay, let's see how well this product works that Ken put on here. Only if he would have to put the money in there, right? See this? It is like making it, peeling it right off. Wow, okay, let's keep going here. So just so everybody's aware, this is a product that I don't even know. I don't even like, I don't, all I know is it's freaking bad ass. That's all I've been told. He says, no, we're going to give you the baddest shit on the market. So that's what he gave me. Well, that's what he put on for me. Like this is what they put on. This is what it looks like, right? 
So let's just take a quick peek at this thing. did that? I know what did that. My first mud hole. <laughs> you guys can't read lips, can ya? Fudge! <laughs> See, it looks like the product is working like insane. But we're gonna give you a before and after. So I'm gonna keep working away at this, getting this thing all cleaned up, and uh, we'll show you guys once it's done. All right, guys, so we just finished up pressure washing the unit. So far, it's looking freaking pretty good, like considering what was on this unit. So I didn't give it a very, very like aggressive pressure wash like I was told to do, just because this one's not crazy. But so far, it looks really good. All right, everybody. So what I want to do is I just want to do a big shout out to Courtney Motorsports for being a sponsor to, for today's video. They're going to be one of our sponsors for quite a while. They hooked me up with this unit. I'm super happy with it. I hope you guys, everybody at home or wherever you're at, where you're watching, you're excited as well because uh, I needed something. I didn't need something new, but I wanted to bring something new into the YouTube channel. So uh, Renegades, we don't see around very much and I thought this would be a good unit. Also, Courtney Motorsports is a Yamaha, Honda and Can-Am BRP dealer for many different products. So it worked out great. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video and I uh, can't wait to work with you guys in the future. Another big sponsor that I need to say, Like New Auto Parents and Graphics. If you guys need anything here on Vancouver Island, wherever you're at, call these guys, ask for Ken. He will hook you guys up. Any kind of graphics you guys want then added to the machine, stickers, wraps, you name it, detailing, ceramic coating, whatever you guys need to keep your vehicles looking nice and clean, they're the guys to call. I'll be putting a link up into the description, uh, going back there, nothing's gonna be right, but in the, the link in the, in the comments and everything like that as well. Uh, for Courtney Motorsports on Vancouver Island, they'll be there. The Vancouver Island BRP dealer, Can Am, uh, Honda, Yamaha, and that, and then, um, they're in Courtney, and then like news here in Camp River. But I'll put some links up so you guys can get a hold of them if you ever want to. For everybody, thank you all for watching. If you guys can, leave a like, ring that bell, subscribe. Also, love the comments, can't wait to see what you guys got to think about this. Alright everybody, thank you all for watching, we'll catch you next time on the trip.